WX Edge online community knows no bounds. Joining me by Skype is Weather Edge team member Graham Smith from across the pond in the UK. Welcome, Graham. It's great to have you here. Thanks very much, Teresa. It's uh, great to be with you. All right. Let's. Let me first ask you, how did you find out about WXEdge.com? Well, it, uh, it started off, uh, I started uh, chatting to uh, Gil Simmons uh, on Twitter a couple of years ago uh, at the time when, uh, when I was developing uh, my mobile weather lab. And uh, so we sort of built up a, a bit of a rapport on Twitter and then um, I, I got interested in the Connecticut weather through, through Gil and uh, as the uh, WTNH, uh, WX Edge website was launched, uh, I was keen to, to see if I could take part in it. I thought maybe I could put a bit of an international spin on it and uh, and bring a little bit of the weather news from the UK to to the website. But I also really enjoy logging on and uh, seeing what's going on in uh, in the the world of Connecticut weather, but also uh, weather around the rest of the United States as well. So it's a really handy resource for that. Sure, we're happy that you're there. Hey, I have to ask you, when did you get interested in weather? Has this been something you've liked your whole life? Yeah, pretty much. I think it really started when I uh, was living in the tropics of Australia. Uh, I spent my teenage years uh, there and uh, th they had you know, lots of severe thunderstorms over there. So I think that's sort of what, what started it all. Um, and then in 2004, my wife and I moved to, uh, to Scotland and th the weather here is just so varied. You know, being wedged in between the Atlantic Ocean and, and uh, Europe on the other side, we're sort of the battleground for uh, for for big weather systems. So uh, the weather can change here literally on an hourly basis. And uh, so that sort of inspired me to set up a home weather station. And that was uh, back in 2006. And uh, it's just sort of really built on from there. Now, I have to ask you about this mobile weather lab. It's quite impressive. I mean, we have one here at News 8, but I don't know. Yours might even be a little cooler. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Yeah, that was an idea I came up with in 2008, and it sort of came uh, off the back of um, my home weather station. I came up with this idea of being able to uh, to, to take the, the weather monitoring equipment to the weather, as it were, um, and also to big outdoor events, because a lot of outdoor events over here are affected by uh, by inclement weather and, it, and it, because it can change so quickly that weather can can blow in in just a few seconds or just you know w within half an hour you can go from sunshine to pouring rain so I came up with this idea of, of uh, developing something that I could uh, measure the weather and give people on the ground information about what the weather was doing. So the idea of the mobile weather lab was uh, was born. Um, so I started construction uh, in early 2009, took about three or four months to do all the, the engineering work. And then I had sort of all the, the software and uh, and IT stuff to do on top of that afterwards. So it was, it was definitely the biggest project that I've undertaken personally, for we, sure. We we just saw you uh, attaching a mast. It looked like to the top, to the roof of the the weather lab. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. So it's got a, a, a telescopic seven metre mast, which is built in the back of the lab. Um, there's loads of equipment in the back of the lab as well, uh, which is sort of the brains of the, the whole operation. So that's got uh, computers and power supplies, um, yeah, internet connections, all sorts of other bits and pieces in there that drive the whole thing. And then I can put this, uh, this telescopic mast up. That'll reach up into the sky uh, up to seven metres. And right at the top of that is where I've got all the, uh, the weather monitoring equipment uh, uh, reading wind speed and temperature, humidity, rainfall, uh, barometric pressure, all of those things that, that help tell what the weather's doing. Sure, you got all uh, the bases covered there. Let me ask you, do you actually use the weather lab to go and chase storms? Yeah, I, I do, I do. It was never really the intention when I built it, but uh, after I'd built it, I thought, wow, this would be an awesome thing to, to use to, to bring live weather to, to people on the internet uh, with its live video streaming capabilities. So I, I often find myself chasing these big Atlantic storms that we get. Um, they're often the remnants of big storms that, that have left the east coast of America and head across the Atlantic. And by the time they get across here, the likes of uh, ex-Hurricane Cassie that we had last year, I chased that and, uh, and provided uh, some coverage on the internet over here. And that was watched by, uh, by up to about a thousand people. So people are really interested in severe weather, I think, in general. And it's, uh, it's great to be able to provide that sort of live video online. Now, Graham, where can we find uh, your website and some of the information that you've posted? Absolutely. So the website is www.weathereventz.net. All right. And we also know that you go out and you visit schools. You take this weather lab out just like Gil does.
Yeah, that's exactly right. That uh, that was another uh, sort of unexpected application for the lab, not not something that I originally planned, but I started getting contacted by schools who were interested in uh, in um, incorporating weather into uh, the curriculum in a more practical way than just sort of sitting talking to the kids about it. So um, I take the lab out and, uh, and set that up and I talk to the kids about how we go about measuring the weather and some of the aspects of weather. So it's always good fun, that. All right, Graham, well, we're just about out of time. I want to thank you for joining us today and, of course, being part of WXEdge.com. We'll look forward to seeing your reports. Thanks very much, Teresa. Sure thing. Stay with us.